so for the next problem we'll be looking at drawing the shadow for a prism and pyramids we'll take up a pentagonal base prism inscribed in a circle of 3 cm height of which is 9 cm and it is placed at 10 cm away from VB so I've drawn the object here and named it as ABCDE so it is 6 cm inscribed 10 away and 9 tall or height is 9 okay so the light rays will be heading on to B A E and D to draw the top of the object we will need this point so we'll consider these three points instead okay so we have taken the line from I'll just zoom this in. Okay, so we have taken the line from B in plan. So B and the object is sitting on the ground plane. So since the object is sitting on the ground plane, we will draw the top of the point or top of the object now. Right. So for, from B, C and D, so B, C and D, okay. So now following the line traces B and B, we see that the elevation light ray hits first in all three cases. Yeah. Right. So let me quickly change the color of this reference. Okay, so these are the vertical light rays or vertical uh, reference light rays rather. So we'll draw the point. So B B this is B C coming in from C intersecting so C similarly D coming in from D down here so this is D okay this light ray will get confused will be only to here okay so this is a fairly simple uh, problem given that we have solved cuboid earlier so now if you have to draw the shadow right uh, since it is starting from the base and point B and D are outermost points here, we'll be starting it from B, going to B dash, then up to C dash in shadow, then D dash in shadow, then coming back all the way to D. Okay. So for the last question in the solids we'll be looking at hexagonal base pyramid inscribed in a circle of a radius 3 centimeters so the diameter of the hexagon here is 6 height 9 centimeters right it is placed at 10 centimeters away from the vertical plane so 10 centimeters away and 2 centimeters above the horizontal plane okay so zooming into the question So to draw the shadow of the pyramid, let's start by drawing the light rays in plan and elevation. So from B, A, F and E. So from elevations in B, A. F and so A and E will share the point and we don't need C so we'll eliminate that okay so now drawing the vertical lines for all the intersection all the light rays coming from elevation intersects first
from A comes down this point for B this line C is not there it didn't matter B e and A are same so for F this line right so now let us mark the points point so for B and B vertical comes down meets here next A A comes down meets here so A then F F point comes down and meets here since A and E are in a straight line in elevation they share this right ring so coming down here intersects with this meets here so we get B A F E B A F E see how these points and the lines forming them are parallel okay next we want top of the object which is O so we'll draw a light ray going out from there at 45 degrees right and similarly one coming in from the elevation at 45 degrees okay so let's intersect this so the light ray coming in from elevation is intersecting first so this and the one from plan this is our point since the object is raised above the shadow starts slightly away from the base of the object as we have seen earlier so from B to A F E then goes up to O and then comes back to B in shadow so this line is the shadow of the object.